that line out of my mouth. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're out with my boys, Victor behind the camera, Chris is back at the boat fishing, and we're just out here just doing whatever. We're cutting up some chunks. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing. We're not gonna do anything crazy. Let's dive right in. We have these pogies that Chris netted this morning. They're like big menhaden, called a bunch of different things in a bunch of different areas, but all we're doing is cutting a big old chunk of them, slicing them just down like that. Then we're taking a very, very simple bottom rig. This is about a three ounce lead. I was using two earlier, nothing crazy. A swivel, some 40 or 50 pound leader, and a circle hook. And I'm taking that pokey chunk, I'm just gonna hook it right through the top right there. Deep enough that it won't rip out on its own, but it's shallow enough that uh, fish can rip it out. Take, and we're just flicking them out behind the boat. The tide's kind of sweeping everything behind us, so we just take them. Cast this way, right? Boom. Cast it out there and just letting it sit. I'm catching all sorts of stuff right now, so I'll see you guys in the video. Bunch of seaweed. Whoa! Maybe not. Oh man, I'm about to get broke off on the buoy, boys and girls. I'm fishing light tackle. What do you think, Vic? What do you think I got? I think you got a 26 inch redfish. Yeah, right. This is a big old cat sitting in the current. We're gonna have to chase him down in the boat, Chris. Nope. Oh, I just got bit. Pretty like, sure, I'm pretty sure I'm on too. Pretty good luck if you hold the camera with the rod out that you're gonna get a. <laughs> yeah, as he's uh, doing this, I got my rod out. I'm definitely eight. All right, here, I got you. Oh, shoot. Whoa, whoa, double hookups. Double. Doubles, I'm on. Ryan and I are both on. <laughs> Chris is like just having a good time. What are true friends for? True friends just holding. No, Whoa. You you provided the boat. You're the best friend here. Yeah, that's true. You came out on the worst day when there's nothing in it for you at all. Literally zero in it for you. Besides the clout. Yeah. Well, Chris is not a clout chaser. There's many no. people out there, myself and Victor included. What the hell hey, hey, hey! I'm not in this. <laughs> what is a clout? <laughs> what is, hey, the fact that you have to say what is a clout means you don't know what clout is. What is a grit? <laughs> Dude, what is this you speak this is of? A mega cat. I'm telling you. It's not a catfish, it's a jack. What do you think? It's a jack. Dude, it's not doing any tail beats. No? And it's a red. It's a Sebastian. Watch, this is gonna end up being a, a red fish too, the, uh, the rod that I just left. Mm. It's digging. Dude, I'm gonna break my rod on this thing. It's not tail beating, that's for oh. sure. It's a lot of seaweed probably just covering up the tail beats. There's the pile of seaweed. Whoa! Oh, another bottom head! head. Another bonnet head. Dude, he's got another line on him. There he goes. I, he just got off? Chris has got him. Chris has got him. What? He line. broke the line? <laughs> that's not my line, that's someone else's line. That was crazy. This thing has a deadline in it. He broke off when Chris went to grab it. Whoa, dude! Okay. Dude, look how many hooks this thing has. Oh my god. Oh man. This is not ours. That one was mine, I think, actually. Yeah, the green That's line yours. was mine. This is someone else's. Just out here saving the sharks. One hook at a time. Taking out. Oh! Yo! So hard to get out. Yeah. He, that one's almost out. Well, sharks, like, they got different flesh than fish, too. It definitely stays in a lot better. These are really some of the biggest bonnet heads we've ever seen. Most of the ones you see are about half this size. People always call them baby hammerheads. But if you look at that shovel shape, it's not like a T, like a true hammerhead. This is about as big as they possibly get by far. But super cool. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun catching them, guys. Like, I don't know about y'all, but, like, just getting out here with the boys, the nothing like it. Chris is on, like, double. Rodney is always on. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, Vic. Ready, boys? You ready? We got two dudes getting hit right now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Chris is about to reel tight. Oh, missed him. What are you doing? I broke off completely. No. Oh. Whoa. Hooked up, boys. That's a kitty cat for sure. Are you sure? That ain't no kitty cat. What? Not a chance that's Dude. a kitty cat. Dude. Here, I'll move this rod. Wow. Yeah. I'm just out here having fun with Dude, the boys. That's we had it. no idea what to expect. We were just out here trying to catch a catfish. <gasps> oh, it's a shark. shark. Is no, that a bonnet head? It's a big bonnet head. Dude, Victor's been trying to cook Dude. one of these too. It's happening. 
We went all the way to the Keys. Is this rock good? Can you get around that? Yeah. This bonnet head is uh, going home with us today. Whoa! Bonnet head and sail cat. You can tell by the shape of the head. Oh my god. Look gosh, at it, dude. man. I'm telling you right now, this could very well be a world record bonnet head shark. It, dude, it's gotta be. You don't think? Well, ask me. Dude. I'm not the shark guy. Yeah, I know. Okay. Hey, you are the, with the uh, shark in your name. So check this out. It's more like a shovel than it is a hammer. Hammerhead sharks, there's... Two, more tea-like. It's more tea-like. There's two species we have in Florida. We have uh, scalloped and we have greater hammerhead, which we've caught both on this channel. This right here is a bonnethead shark. And I would say this thing is pr probably 20, 20 pounds. I'm telling you, they don't get that big. This could be a potential world record. We'll have to look it up, man. Um, just got picked up by some kind of critter. I'm kind of just extending my arm because he just got it, kind of got it in his mouth and he's just swimming around with it. Had a pretty big bait from letting him eat. And let's just see, I might rip it out of his mouth to find out. You got him. Uh, no, no? I think it's little fish trying to eat the bigger bait. Or you just don't know what you're doing. Hey! <laughs> I'll take the second option. <laughs> you know, Victor and Chris like to fish these big, heavy rods. I'm more of a finesse fisherman myself with this light little thing. This cat hasn't even pulled drag yet. That's how I know it's a... Not that big. I don't know, dude. I'm getting taken into the these motor, are though. These Sebastian catfish. This is Big Bertha's. Is it a Larry? Be a big old slime question. ball. Oh, it's a, it's a cat, all right. Oh. oh, buddy. Oh, man. See, like, sometimes we get all serious about catching game fish and everything, but honestly, guys, like, sometimes you have so much more fun just messing, a, messing around with the boys, just going out, just doing something. Like, the terrible day, not much that we could do out here, but, like, honestly, I'm having a good time. Yeah, Victor's getting smoked right next to me. I'll click next I messed it up. For him. I messed it up. I'll eat it. Leave it. Now Chris is on the cam. Dude. Oh, dude, look at this freaking big old sail cat digging on me. But yeah, it's just fun to just come out and just do stuff. And sometimes our best fishing trips are the ones we don't plan to like slay game fish. It's just like you go out, come out, mess around, and sometimes cool things happen. Woo! Look at all that slime on the freaking line. Vic is on too. Doubled up, boys. Vic. Doubled up. Oh, no, I Vic blew it. I blew it. <laughs> I blew it for the boys. Big Look Larry. Is that Larry, man? Yes. Sail cat. Victor already went over like the whole like, you know, deal with these guys, but yep, very similar. Video, yeah, Ryan. very similar to hard heads. What else am I missing? They, they got that big old long spine. What was the other name that you had for him? Gaff tops. Gaff tops. Well, yeah, you got a freaking gaff and a half on him. He's actually grunting right now. You guys probably can't hear it, but he's like, what the hell are you guys doing to me? My answer is, we're going to eat you. <laughs> Victor's gonna cook them up. So if for whatever reason you guys are watching my video and you guys do not watch Victor's videos, be sure to slide over to Land Shark Fishing because he, you know, he's really just what I want to be in life. But uh, maybe we'll get there one day. Wow. <laughs> that Chris is on. Chris. Now a possible cat. Possible cat. Whoa! Jeez Louise, possible death wish. Chris, what do you got, dude? A narc. A narc? I think it's a shark. You know who calls people narcs? Narcs. Could be a big Larry or a Jack. Jack. Looking like a Jack. Jackfish? Oh, dude, we're catching all of the trash fish today. What else? We got a ladyfish, we, we got did. a Jack, and we got a catfish. We got the full trash clan slam, boys and girls. You that just said clan. Clan, trash they can are clan. slam. Speaking is hard. Chris is getting worked right now. Whoa, dude, you know, what'd you do? Loose in the drag? Yeah. Whoa! Catfish and jacks everywhere, boys and girls. Yeah, but really we're just here anchored up in the inlet, just kind of drifting back these chunks of pogies, which I'll show you guys how we're just cutting them up and hooking them in a sec. But it's a, it's pretty simple fishing, you know? There's just so much life in this inlet that you can kind of come out here and just do a little bit of everything when you want to. So it's a lot of fun. I'm actually getting a little nibbles right now. Let's see if what I can get. So Chris just hooked up on something really weird. It's not really like pulling drag fast like they were before or anything like that. It kind of just moved into the center of the channel. Not really sure what he's got. Oh, oh another bonnet head. Another bonnet head. This is 
it's like the bonnet head spawning grounds or something like that. Like, there's a whole lot out here. <laughs> no, no, it's not a bonnet head. No, a giant shark nose. Yeah, another another species. Dude, on stick. there's some yeah, big sharks out here today. A whole bunch of critters. Nah, this is pretty cool. I mean, you just don't know what you're gonna get. That's the real fun of it. Like, just passing baits out, just doing it. One of you yo-yos, you're gonna have to hold my rod. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You want to hold this, and I'll grab yeah. that. by the tail they will wrap around so you got to be very careful very firmly grab them behind the head like like almost like you're trying to hurt it you're not trying to but if you pull on him lightly he'll bite you fires are up on the deck he got it he's got another hook in there does yeah. it cut someone else off here grab, grab the pliers dude don't cut your hand there you go take out his lip ring nice beauty so we're just trying to take a thumbnail. Oh, I just got cut. I think it's a bluefish. We see a fish jump behind the boat, and then we hear my rod going off. And the line's swinging out that way. As soon as I reeled tight to it, I just got cut off. So I'm guessing it was a bluefish, because it had a, uh, they have kind of sharp teeth, and they will cut through your leader if you're not careful. Oh no, the hook just came out, because I wasn't tight with him. But yeah, pretty frayed, likely a bluefish. Just another species on this uh, random species ridden day. Get him, brother! You know, you kill my vibe every time. <laughs> Chris gets so sad because I turn off his music while he's fishing, but we're not trying to, you know, have the video copyrighted, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a video. This is true. But I appreciate you, Chris, putting up with me and Vic. Is that what you appreciate about me? Yeah, and your boat. It's a red. Oh, it's a shark. Shh, it's a red. It's a red shark. Red shark. Red shark. Coming in. Yeah, man. These things gotta be pregnant or something. Dude, there's some, some type of weird stuff going on. They're all giant, dude. I'm gonna swap with you, Chris. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. That is the last footage I have from my recent trip to Florida. I was there for about three weeks and I really only got four fishing videos from it. And I tried to fish a lot. So if that tells you how good it was, yeah, it wasn't good. Anyways, I am coming at you guys from my spare bedroom, YouTube studio, new setup, and this is probably the first clip that's gonna make it on YouTube from this kind of lighting setup and everything that I have. So tell me in the comment section what you guys think. I got this silly little LED light behind me that's actually gonna go on a bookshelf with some gear and stuff like that. So it's just up there for prop purposes right now, just give some type of light. But tell me how you guys think it sounds, is it too echoey? Is the lighting, you know, does it look a little silly? Whatever feedback you have, drop it in the comment sections below. I really do appreciate it. Y'all, that's all in the time I have today. Thanks again for watching the video. Leave it a thumbs up if you could, and I'll see you in that next one. Peace.